What's up everybody? We're at New Jersey Motorsports Park this weekend for the last race of the season. Um, if all goes well, all I have to do is actually, I just have to finish the race, even if it's last place, and I'll get the regional championship, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm looking over data real quick just to see what I did here earlier this year. Uh, my best was a 25, so 25.9. Um, so I'll see if I can beat that. I honestly don't remember what my tire situation was. It was probably not very good earlier this year. Um, so I got a little bit fresher tires. It's pretty cool out, mid 40s, upper 40s. I think we're only gonna see about 50 degrees today. So um, as always, we're gonna try and learn something, uh, give it our best shot and see what happens. <laughs> guys uh, practice is done uh, I went about a half second faster than I ever have I did a 25 I did a 25 4 something um, previous best was a 25 9 so that's good um, I'll show you we kind of got a few little streamers going on and I put one of my old GoPros there so if that if that catches anything cool I'll put that in the video at some point um, or maybe just over me talking right now. Um, I want to kind of do something similar down here with all this stuff going on, but putting putting a camera on a splitter is, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I didn't quite have string, so I just used little pieces of tape. Um, I did this up at the Glen, and I know these are good. Um, I mentioned there's no like reversion or anything. Um, these, from the driver's seat, I could see them, and they were sticking up at a good angle. What I want to do now is put a little bit of a, a gurney flap right here, and then I could put the two videos side by side and kind of see the angle difference. Um, so yeah, so all good things so far. Um, oh, the car was kind of porpoising into one or the track is just bumpy. Uh, so I'm gonna redo, I always carry extra uh, splitter biscuits and I can feel this one's getting a little bit thin. Um, and I may revisit, hold on. These guys, shock shims. Uh, put another one up on the front left um, just to kind of keep the car from being able to go so low. Uh, so I'll probably put one of these in, splitter biscuits, which, Watch, I probably don't have any. Here you go. Um, these guys to protect the bottom of the splitter. And that is about all the changes I'll make before qualifying. All right, so we're gonna try and do this splitter biscuit kind of live so you can see how easy it is. So 
there's the damaged one. You can see how thin it gets. Pop out the hardware. The, the, you know, the cone gets reused. New bolt that isn't ground down shorter. And then new biscuit just goes underneath. There you go. And the hardware is the perfect size, so underneath it's not, where is it? You know, so underneath it barely sticks out. So new biscuits on. I'll check the other ones. They, they feel like they got a little more meat left to them. It's this left one that always gets grinded down because they're kind of breaking and the car is leaning to that corner a little bit. Um, I'm gonna throw the shock shim in. And here's my little makeshift gurney that I'm gonna put right here and then do a side to side with these little streamers and see what changes.
right, guys, that race was uh, fun for sure, interesting. Um, ended up coming home fourth, just behind Doug by less than a tenth of a second. Um, starting sixth, so I made up a few spots. Um, I'll put a tag up here of the full race. Um, I usually always post my full race videos uh, if they're good. This one's definitely good. So click this tag up here if you want to watch that. I an okay lap time. I was kind of stuck with him and Doug. Um, so I only did like a 27 uh, or something. Uh, but car felt great. Um, it's ready to go pretty much for tomorrow. I'm going to peek at the brakes. But I think that's about it. Uh, oh, yeah. Middle of the race. My helmet blow or the fan, I don't know if the wire wiggled loose or something, but middle of the race I feel my face just start getting really hot <laughs> because the, the helmet blower stopped working. Alright, so as I was saying when the battery died, um, yeah, all of a sudden I feel my face getting really hot so I had to open the visor. And believe it or not, like in the middle of the race, going from a visor down to a visor up, it kind of messed me up for a little bit. It was a little bit strange. Um, but. Uh, yeah, all things considered, cars in one piece, felt good, uh, and we get to do it again tomorrow. Well, good morning everybody. It is Sunday. It is the last race of the NASA Northeast season. Um, what I'm going to do for morning's practice, I got a little ball of yarn or string, whatever. I'm going to tape a whole bunch of streamers in this area and hopefully put a camera somewhere right around here kind of see what I catch sort of like what I did yesterday with the with the vent um, you know might be kind of fun might be kind of cool and um, but yeah this afternoon uh, not sure if you can kind of see it or not but it's uh yeah if you look that way um, so practice or yeah I'm sorry qualifying is right around when the rain is supposed to start but this afternoon it's pretty much like a hundred percent chance of rain I'm fine with a rain race, but I'll do a rain setup at that point. But right now, let's kind of get this on and uh, kind of see if we can, you know, get anything cool from that in uh, qualifying. All right, so just started drizzling, but I'll show you what we got going on. So I'm going to put a GoPro right here. I'm hoping this doesn't kind of make some like turbulence that just kind of goes back anyways. Um, but it's kind of my only option right now. Not sure if you can see it, but it's kind of already raining. If these things get wet, they might just kind of like hang down or stick to the car and might kind of all be a waste anyways, but hopefully this will kind of give us something, something cool to see. All right, so practice was pretty interesting. Uh, not sure how good the video will be because when there's a bunch of like water drops on the, the window, the um, resolution, I think it is, just kind of gets like really like washed out but um, you can see how wet it is. And I think when we were out there, it started coming down even more because I was, I was kind of picking up a little bit of time as I was feeling out the track and everything. But towards the end, I just couldn't go faster. And the, the, you know, you could just feel the car have less grip. Uh, you know, remember I was, I'm on slicks and I'm on yesterday's setup. So the race is gonna be uh, wet for sure. Um, so I'm gonna put wet tires on. Um, and then a few other changes, more wing, uh, maybe soften the rear rebound, tires, wing, rebound. I think that's about it, but uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and get our wet setup going. And then hopefully this guy caught something cool. So we'll see what happens here. And that's it, we're gonna get ready for the race. So got the car ready for the rain race. So you can see how big the puddles are now. It's uh, It's been raining all day. It was raining really good a couple minutes ago. So obviously the wet tires. I put the flaps on in the front at the steepest angle and then added a good bit of wing angle. I didn't, I didn't adjust the shocks. Um, and I know some people get into sway bars and all that stuff. It's, it's too wet. 
Um, and again, going back to all I need to do is finish to win the regional championship. But at the same time, racing in the rain, I kind of enjoy it. I think it's a great, uh, you know, great chance to learn car control because traction is so limited. Um, so yeah, it's um, you know it's a good chance to learn something, uh, you know, become a better driver racing in the rain. Uh, but at the same time, I you know don't want to do something dumb either. So uh, should be a fun race, and uh, yeah, let's get to racing. Goodness, that was wild. I just turned my camera on. How was it with the slicks? In the middle there, it got, it must have been After raining, raining. Halfway through the race and beyond, it fucking was bad. Yeah. I couldn't even go down the straightaway at speed. Yeah, I, I couldn't, like I couldn't even either with, with the treads on. Um, and then towards the end, it looked like it, the track started getting a little bit better. But, I was just cruising. yeah, I figured that's <laughs> friggin'. Um, so yeah, that's it for this weekend. That race was, like I was just saying, crazy. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think, uh, is there anything to add, Al? I don't know. We'll have some off-season updates <laughs> for sure. All you people that don't race in the rain, you're missing out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fun for sure, but it was, yeah, it was crazy. So there she sits, nice and wet out. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So I'll see you guys in the next one.